Hello, crocheters. Welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. This is Sylvia. And in this project, I am bringing you the easy to work up crochet lacy shawl with a scalloped edge. So for this project, I'm using a number two yarn and it results in a very drapey, soft end product. Now for this particular project, Nothing about it is exact. You can substitute yarn, absolutely. The hook that I'm using here is a G or a 4.25 millimeter. Now for the detail as to how much yarn was used, go to the description area, the white space below the video, or go to the blog at crazycoolcrochet.com and you will find more detail there. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek at the stitch and the design. I found this stitch over at Expression Fiber Arts and it's very easy. It's all triple crochets and this is super customizable. We are working with a multiple of 8 plus 12. So this particular shawl that I made for myself is 84 inches long. It's extra long so that you can throw it over your shoulder but you can make this shorter if you prefer just stay with that multiple of eight so on the short edge i added a little bit of a scalloped edge just to finish it off nicely and then for the color scheme you can do whatever you prefer this would look beautiful in an ombre or a cake yarn with the color variations i chose to do three separate colors so if you choose to do that, then obviously you can choose your own colors. Now I'm going to be working from a swatch just to show you how the stitch is made. So in the eighth chain from the hook, not counting the loop on the hook. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We work a triple crochet. So you yarn over twice, insert the hook. pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. That's a triple. So now we're going to do five into that same chain, five total. Yarn over twice, insert the hook, pull up the yarn, four loops on the hook, pull through the first two, pull through the next two, pull through the last two. Do it again. There we go. That's three. Here comes number four. And number five in the same chain. Now we're going to skip three chains. One, two, three. In the next one, do a one triple. Skip three. Do five triples again in the fourth chain. And one more. So now we're going to skip three. And then do a triple in the fourth chain. Only one. Skip three and then do five triples into the fourth chain. So I think you get the pattern, right? And here comes number five. There we go. Okay. 
So you see what we're doing there? We're doing the cluster of five, skip three chains, do one triple. Skip three chains, do the cluster of five, skip three, one triple, skip three, do your cluster of five, and continue that across the row. So you would have continued that pattern until you're at your last four chains. And you will skip three as usual, and then enter a triple crochet into the last chain. Then chain four, and you will turn. You will always chain four at the end of the row. Okay, so now that was just to show you how to work the stitch. And the next row will be a little bit different, so we will continue. What I wanted to stop and give you the detail on was how many chains for the size 84 inch long shawl. Okay, so we're working the long way up. So you will need to do a chain of 332, do not panic, okay? It sounds horrifying, a chain of 332. That's a multiple of eight plus 12. So if you recall, we are skipping three all the way down the line, skipping three chains, skipping three chains. So we're not working into 332 stitches. So don't get all panicky, okay? It's not as bad as it sounds. And of course, if you wanna make this shorter, just subtract eight chains from the foundation chain or in multiples of eight. Okay, so now to continue. After you have done your chain four, we will turn and now into that very first stitch right under that turning chain, work two triple crochets. Now into the center post, we're going to work one triple crochet. Into the top of that center post. So you're working under the two strands. See the chains at the top? So you in entered your hook into that chain there. Okay, now into the single post, we're going to do five triple crochets right in here. One more. So there's number five. Now into that center post again of that cluster, you will do one triple crochet. And then five into that single post. So that is the pattern for row two. So whenever you come to a five cluster, you enter one triple crochet in the center. When you come to the single post, you enter five double crochet, triple crochets into the top of that post. Just continue that to the end. Now when you come to the end, you will have entered your single post, your single triple. <laughs> Does that make any sense? One triple into the cluster, the last cluster. Now in the turning chain, we are going to enter three triple crochets.
chain four. Okay, so before we turn, let me show you. So at the beginning, you're going to have what appears to be the three posts, and then at the end, you've got your three posts. Triples and triples. Okay, so this is what you should be looking like. Now for row three, you did your chain four, we're going to turn. So now we're just going to go right over into that one triple post and enter five triple crochets. Now into the cluster, enter one in the center, one triple crochet, and that will be your pattern for row three. So now into that next triple post, you will enter five triple crochets. Then into the next cluster, you will enter one into the center all the way down the row. At the end of row three, you will do your five cluster into that last post, and then in the turning chain, do one triple crochet. And then you will chain four and turn, and then repeat rows two and three. For your preferred width, I ended up doing 31 total rows. Now I want to show you how to change colors in case you've not done that before. So changing color at the end of the row. You do your triple crochet until you have your last two loops on the hook. It's always with the last part of the stitch where you enter the new color. So leave a good sized tail. We will be weaving in the tails at the end. So now you finish that last part of the stitch with the new color. And then chain four. And then tighten up these ends here. And you will cut off the previous color again, leaving a good sized tail. I'd say about five inches. And then you continue in the pattern. And you can end on either side and that will just mean that you're weaving in tails on both sides. So now you continue in the pattern. Now I'm going to show you how to work the scalloped edge and this is on the short edge, not the long one. Okay, the long edge will be completed with the last row that you work. So what you're going to do is Work one row of single crochet on the short edge, working on the wrong side. Because so after you complete your last row, turn this with the short edge facing you with the wrong side. You can see this is my wrong side because you can see my little knots where I weaved in the tails. So first weave in the tails before you work on the scallop. So working on the wrong side, insert the hook into the corner, into the chain, leave a tail again for weaving in, do a chain one to lock that in, and then in the same space do a single crochet, regular single crochet. That's a fairly large space there, so do another single crochet. And all you're going to do is use your discretion here, entering single crochets all along that edge. So I just entered one right in there. I'll enter two in the larger space. One in here. Now that space is not very large, so I'll just enter one. 
you just want to play it by ear. So as you're going along, if this is starting to look like it's got too many, well then go ahead and take out whatever you need to take out. See, we're just uh, working like a little bit of a foundation row here that we can work in the scallop. So just do that all the way across. After you work that row of single crochets, chain three and turn. Then you are going to skip the first two stitches, work a cluster of four triple crochets into the next stitch, then chain one. Skip two. Now we're going to enter a single crochet into the next stitch to anchor that. Chain one. Skip two. Do another cluster of the four triple crochets. Here's number four. There's the four. Chain one. Skip two. Single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one. And then do skip two. Do your cluster of four. Into the next chain, of course. Chain one, skip two, single crochet, chain one, and continue. There's what we're working towards. So between each major stitch here, you're doing a chain one. There you go. Just do that all the way across the row. Then you will be done. Now one little tip when you get to the end of that scallop row, depending on how many single crochets you worked, you will end possibly oddly. <laughs> In other words, you won't end even. Okay, which is what happened to me here. So I worked my last cluster of four and I had two stitches left. Well, what am I gonna do with two stitches? Okay, so I skipped one and I entered a triple crochet into that turning chain at the very end. Just to even everything out. So if you get to the end and you only have enough for that last cluster, okay, stop there. Or if you only want to skip one stitch so that you can work it out, do what you need to do. It's crochet, guys. It's not science. That's my mantra. Crochet is an art, not a science. You don't have to be exact. Who's going to be staring at your stitch count? Nobody. <laughs> if you're a perfectionist, I don't know. You might have to just work it out then, but don't worry about it. I hope you like this project. So again, head over to crazycoolcrochet.com for the written pattern and for the detail. Be sure to come back for the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.